Hi guys, Martin here coming to you with my uh, full build and final reveal video for the Matchbot Dassault Mirage 3B 172 scale. It's an old kit, 1973, uh, so 43 years old. I was a little concerned about the day cows as I was with the previous Matchbot kit that I built. But this time, instead of having to wait three minutes and then peeling them off the backing paper, they slid off after 20, 25 seconds. So they work great. A um, little out of register though on the roundels, as you'll see if you observe them in the uh, video. Um, but again, it's a real basic kit, but I really enjoyed doing it. I, um, the cockpit, very basic, just two seats and then between them, between the two seating positions there's like a um, central console hub and that's it very basic so I decided to do a little bit of scratch building I put some um, ejector seat belts seat belts on the ejector seat sorry and, I, and then um, I got some wire 0.5 millimeter wire and I made some ejector plandals on both the seats on the headrests uh, I then took some of the, cut off the sprue, some of the flat um, label pieces, just cut them off and sliced them up and made four side consoles to each side of those seats and then I did an instrument panel as well and just painted some dials and switches and buttons on there. So that tarted it up a little bit and then uh, with cocktail sticks on the tip of a cocktail stick I just used my scalpel and a cocktail stick and carved two um, joysticks, put one in front, one in the back. So that was all extra. And then when it came round to taking the masking tape off my uh, canopy, I thought, I placed it in position, I thought, eh, can't see all of the stuff I've done as well as I'd like to. So I took a hot knife and I sliced the front section from that solid canopy, one piece canopy and made two pieces glued the front piece in position and then I um, on the back of the top of the rear eject to see I mounted a uh, actuator unit just carved a little block out of sprue painted it black and then glued the canopy in the open position onto that so you can see all inside the cockpit now uh, which was which I liked. I thought it looked pretty decent. So a bit of scratch building going on and then the uh, kit doesn't come with a little aerial. It doesn't show a little antenna area along the um, box art but on the back of these there's a little triangular section antenna so I cut a piece out of sprue, stuck that on, painted it white uh, just to finish it off. Um, so yeah, overall a fun kit if you want to do some scratch building and it's all brush painted so it's quick, you just got to brush, let it dry, brush on again. Um, I did some weathering as I always do, I don't like to build without any weathering. But that's it guys, um, again enjoyed it, nice little kit if anybody's got it and you want to do some scratch building to tart it up, have fun, go for it. So I'm not going to waffle on anymore guys, thanks for following this build on Facebook and now for those that are about to see it for the first time on YouTube from start to end, here we go. Talio chocks away. Hello and welcome to International British Modeler. This is Martin bringing to you my full build and final reveal video for the Matchbox 172nd scale Dassault Mirage 3B trainer version. And uh, so let's open her up, see what's in the box. Here's the box, that's the front of the box showing the um, Dassault Mirage taking off in the box art. And on the rear side we have two colour options available there. I'm going to do the top version. Inside the box we have two sprues, a light grey one and a light blue one. Very basic. And also included is a solid canopy section. As you can see it's not that clear. Little 
dusty looking, little grimy. There's also a small sheet of decals for the two options of markings. There's a black and white instruction booklet, that's the first page showing the uh, colour call outs. And on the inside, the assembly instructions, there's one, two, three, and five of the stages, and there's six. And then an alternative stage if you want the undercarriage closed or down. I'm going to leave mine down as always. And then on the rear side, we have the uh, decal location markings. All right, on to the build. So first, wash the parts in warm soapy water to get rid of any mold residue and 43 years of grime. And then I started on with the cockpit assembler. It's just two seats, a central hub, and then I also have the exhaust there at the back. So I painted those, get them redder. I wanted to dress up the seats, so out of some foil off the top of a wine bottle, I cut some seat belts, stuck them in place. I then wanted to make some rip cords for the ejector seats. So I drilled a couple of small holes in this each seat, bent some wire around, cut it to length, stuck that in, and I got my rip cords. Next, I scratch built four console panels, two in each side of the fuselage there. Put them in, glued them in, and then they were ready for some paint. And then I decided I wanted to do a couple of um, joysticks, so I carved them off the end of uh, cocktail sticks, cut them off, then stuck them on a cocktail stick as a fixture for painting. I then stuck those onto the front of the uh, ejector seats, and then I had a nice little assembly there. I then created a scratch built a instrument panel, stuck it on the underside of that central hub unit painted some dials and buttons etc and then I had everything I wanted there I painted those four consoles as you can see on the insides of the fuselage and then uh, I stuck the central hub in there as you can see it's starting to come alive now I also stuck the exhaust afterburner into the fuselage off and then put the two fuselage offs together and took a couple of photographs to see what that cockpit looked like and it looked quite good, better than just two seats and a central hub. And next stage was to put the air intakes on, the nose cone, and do something with the canopy. So the other two planes were tail sitters, so not making any mistakes this time, I packed the nose cone with some putter, then I stuck it onto the front there, stuck the air intakes on, and then it was on to assembling the wings, the bottom of the fuselage section, and the vertical stabilizer and there they are all, all glued in place ready for some paint and there's a quarter next to the aircraft so you can get an idea of scale next step I did was to temporarily locate with putter the wheel bay doors there they are in place there so they get painted when I brush paint it I then mask the canopy and uh, make her ready for some paint and then I temporarily located that onto the uh, fuselage with some putter and then cleaned it down with some isopropyl alcohol ready for paint. The first stage of painting as always is to primer. I used black Steinol Res primer. I then went on to the underside, painted the light grey, added some white to that light grey so I could then put some highlights on there. I then masked that when it was dry ready to put the uh, dark grey shade on the top side and there's a dark grey shade on and then moved on to painting the dark green camo pattern on there after that was done it was on to detailing the little bits the uh, red leading edges on the air intakes and then the uh, wingtip lights and the white markers to indicate it's a trainer when that was done it was time for a uh, gloss clear coat so we can move on to decaling and when that was dry got all my things together that I needed for decaling and made a start on that. There's the top side done, that was the first, and then I moved on the underside, and then I did the sides. And then after the day cows were complete, I gave her a clear coat, let it dry overnight, and then it was on to the weathering stage the following day. I started off by mixing black and white to get a stone coloured oil wash and put that all over so I could do some highlights, toning down. I then moved on to a pin wash, uh, sort of a dark brown pin wash, did the top side and the underside to highlight panel lines and features, wiped it off. I then mixed a reddish brown acrylic wash 
and did some streaks and oil grime etc after all that was done it was on to giving everything a final matte flat clear coat that was the top side and that's the underside so now she's ready for final assembly but before assembly I remembered I had to paint the two white central frames on the canopy white to indicate it's a trainer and then I took the temporarily located wheel bay doors out painted them uh, with black primer and inside the wheel wells and then moved on to the canopy I uh, removed the masking tried it in place and decided that it didn't show as much as I wanted to show so in order to show everything inside the cockpit I had to split it so I did that by heating the end of uh, my knife and carefully cutting through to create two sections I then glued the front section down onto the fuselage put a bit of putty around it because there were some gaps filled that, smoothed it down when it was smooth and dry and then painted it I then while that was dry and I uh, painted the wheel bells, the wheel bays and the doors aluminum and then assembled those onto the underside along with the uh, wheels a flat bottom the wheels to add weight and then it was on to assembling the canopy, the rear canopy section but to actuate it I needed an actuator block so I carved one out of uh, sprue glued it in place, painted it black then stuck on the canopy and the last thing to do was put on that spike at the front of the nose and then create a little triangular antenna section that goes on the upper fuselage just behind the canopy there I painted it white and that was it all done so she was on for the final reveal so without further ado guys I'm not going to waffle on anymore let's move on to the final reveal Talio chocks away